What if I were to tell you when Nintendo launches their next hardware, they're going to be including a virtual console? Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. If you enjoy uh, video game news and discussion, entertainment, all of that, uh, at least in regards to Nintendo, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel? Help us on our road to 80,000 subscribers. And we're actually revisiting a rumor that cropped up last year because I've got a bit of an update on this rumor. Now, uh, last year we put up a video around this time of the year discussing a rumor that came from October of 2020. And that rumor stated essentially that there would be a new virtual console like service coming to Switch. And that virtual console like service uh, wasn't going to be extremely different from what we have now with Nintendo Switch Online. You know, at the time they talked about adding N64, uh, Genesis, DS, etc. And, and so far, right now, we have rumors out there about Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, and, and other platforms coming to Nintendo Switch Online. But what was brilliant about this rumor is. Well, it also included um, Virtual Console. And what was going to happen is it was going to be a Game Pass-like service. And for those who don't understand what that means, Game Pass is what Microsoft does, uh, where you subscribe and you get the games, but you also get discounts on games that you could buy and own. So the idea in this case for Nintendo would be that, yes, you subscribe to Nintendo Switch Online or the expansion pack, and you get access to all these games, but optionally, you can buy each of these games, each of these virtual console games, well, in this case, classic games, I guess, these Nintendo Switch Online games, you could buy each of them individually for a discounted price and own them forever, even if you cancel your Nintendo Switch Online. So, to me, this was obviously a really, really interesting concept that we talked about. And, of course, you know, it came from Samus Hunter, who, as we discovered over, you know, since those days, isn't always the most reliable on these big rumors. She's more reliable on the small stuff. So, it, you know, it was supposed to come to fruition at the time around the release of Switch Pro uh, and, and maybe even be tied to the release of Switch Pro, which we all know at this point, whether or not you think Switch Pro is real or not, it's kind of irrelevant at this point. It's not here, so it's not really even worth having that discussion, at least in this video. But the reason we're bringing up this rumor is because I have now heard from three independent third-party sources and when i say third party sources i mean people who work at different companies that are going to have games coming out on nintendo switch online one of them actually already has a game out on nintendo switch online uh two of them are going to be upcoming games coming to nintendo switch online in the future and they have stated that they are aware all three of them without having talked to each other just talking to me independently have told me that they are aware that Nintendo is working on a virtual console-like service that they seem to be planning to launch with new hardware. And they say this because they have certain dev units that are clearly new generation hardware that is the, the service is, is only available on for testing. It's not actually on the current switches. And th th this seems like a really easy thing to debunk because we do have a number of, of hackers out there that have access to the dev software and, and, and can go through and be like, oh, this doesn't exist. And I, I totally I totally hear you on that. Apparently, this is something that's extremely under wraps uh, and is not really being talked about. Now, again, these are three independent sources at three different companies who are obviously going to remain anonymous, and I'm not going to state which companies they're from. We're not out here trying to get people fired. And again, them saying that this is in the works and that you know they themselves have seen little aspects of it doesn't necessarily mean it's ever going to release. So this is the clear. The big thing is we don't know if this thing's going to come, but it's clearly had some work done on it, and it's pretty much exactly like the original rumor described. It is a Game Pass-like service. You would be subscribed to Nintendo Switch Online and be able to buy these games at a discount and just keep them forever, or at least, you know, for as long as Nintendo's going to allow them to be on the platform. They're still digital games. They're not physical. So, you know, for as long as the platform exists anyways, uh, you'll have access to it, whether, you know, you're connected online or not, uh, or have a Nintendo Switch Online subscription or not. Uh, and the idea, I guess, here is that you might be able to actually buy the games individually, 
let's say, let's just use an out there, let's use a Nintendo game. Ocarina of Time for the N64, maybe you'll be able to buy it for $9.99, but if you're part of the Nintendo Switch Online service, you can get it for 50% off and get it for $5. Uh, something along that line seems to be uh, what is in the works. And that, to me, is the future I think we all want. I think the number one flaw with the way that uh, classic games are delivered on Nintendo Switch Online is that they're only delivered through a single method. I actually don't mind that you could subscribe and get access to all these games. I think that's actually a worthwhile model. If it wasn't worthwhile, why the hell does Spotify exist? Why does Netflix exist or Hulu? Like, obviously, a subscription model to gain access to a bunch of content is a good idea, but it shouldn't exist in lieu of owning the content. Uh, and that's a problem that you run into even out with Netflix, where like sometimes the only way you can watch a Netflix sh show or movie is on Netflix. However, Netflix is starting to make their shows and movies available to purchase on other services. So it's getting to the point where you can actually end up owning copies of those shows as well or those movies. So Netflix has already kind of solved that problem. But the point is that we don't have a way to buy these games and actually keep maintain ownership of it without using an online subscription with some people just don't want to have a subscription they pay every month every year every three months they just want to buy the damn thing and keep it transfer it between systems and call it a day and that's what this system supposedly is going to support so this to me is one of the biggest largest fundamental shifts and it wouldn't necessarily hurt nintendo switch online subscriptions because if you subscribe and get 50 percent off why wouldn't you do that? Why would you spend more on these games than you have to when you can spend 20 bucks a year, you know, maybe 80 bucks once, get access? And it, I guess it depends on how many games you're going to buy, if it's going to be worth that 80 bucks. But yeah, I, I honestly think that this is a really, really good idea. As Nintendo's continuing to tie DLC and other things into the NSO to make it worthwhile, uh, why not give us game discounts on these classic games? I mean, I'd like to see them give us game discounts on everything on the eShop, but I, I think this is great. I think this is a, a good thing, and I hope that this comes to fruition. Uh, the, the, this is just, it's insane to me to, to get new information about a rumor from a year ago that we put up a year ago anyways, uh, and, and find that this might still be in the works, and we just didn't see it because new hardware didn't come out. Um, also, one of these developers told me that they actually did have a Switch Pro dev kit, but... Uh, that's neither here nor there. I don't have any additional information. Now, look, uh, I did drill him as much as I could on the Switch Pro stuff, and I'm, I'm just... He wouldn't tell me anything. Why I'm getting information... Why he's more willing to talk... I, I, maybe he's more willing to talk about this because um, it, it, it's more experimental. You know, I, that that's the feeling I got from all three people I talked to, all three sources, is that it's very experimental. Um, and you guys know how careful I am about posting things that I hear about. Honestly, if this was the only uh, information I had uh, were these three uh, independent people, I, I probably wouldn't be sharing it with you guys. But the fact that it kind of follows up a rumor uh, that we already talked about on the channel, it kind of just felt appropriate to update you guys and let you know that this might very well still be a thing that's going to happen. Uh, and so I guess let's just cross our fingers. And by the time we get that next generation hardware, be it next year, 2024, 2025, whenever, that this is an avenue that is being explored and hopefully is going to be something uh, worthwhile. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Revelgents from the Center Prime. And uh, I got to get a haircut, man. My hair is just, dude, it's so wild, man. Ugh, I tried to get in today, but they had like a four hour wait. I, man. Everyone's trying to get their hair cut right now because it's getting warm outside. It's like summer weather, and here I am wearing this damn spring jacket. But it is a Nintendo Prime one. <laughs> All right, guys. Catch you in the next video.